Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. This video is part of the Scrap and Stamp Shake It Up Summer Blog Hop, which features six designers making six different shaker cards. My shaker card uses this Beach Cutie stamp from MFT, and I've used Tuxedo Black ink on the stamp so that I might color my images, or image, let's say, with um, my Copic markers, all of the numbers and uh, listing is on my website, kwarnerstudio.com. And in order to win one of seven prizes for this blog hop, you must leave a comment on the people that are participating in the blog hop. And up for grabs are seven Tonic Studios die and Shaker Elements combo packs. I also have pictures of those and they are also on my website kwarnerstudio.com. In order to win, as I said, you must leave comments on the blogs, but there are also additional chances if you like, share on Facebook. But in order to win, you have to have a comment on the blog as well. So getting back to this uh, little cutie here, i have um, just finishing up. I cut this by hand, although there are uh, coordinating dies, and I used glossy accents to add dimension to the flower and her eyes. I'm using some Nina Desert Storm cardstock, which I made a top folding portrait card, and then two panels, one for the inside and one for the outside. I cut a frame using Lawn Fawn stitched rectangles out of Lawn Fawn Watercolor Wishes paper. And then I attached some foam strips, putting on two layers so that I could ensure that there were no gaps and that the seams did not line up. I sprinkled some seed beads, some micro beads, and glitter into the well, and then laid the acetate, which was also cut uh, from the largest rectangle used in the frame, and then I trimmed it at the stitch marks. Uh, that causes static, so when you lay that window sheet down, you want to do it in one fine swoop close to the beads. Be Creative Tape was attached to the frame, and this frame was attached over the window sheet. The Beach Cutie was attached, also with double-sided adhesive tape, to the bottom left-hand portion of the shaker element. The sentiment, Love You to the Beach and Back, was stamped onto some Nina Desert Storm, and that was trimmed down. A bead of Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive was applied to the bottom of the sentiment strip and then some sand was attached, pressing it down with my finger and then shaking off the excess. Low profile foam squares went to the back of the sentiment strip and this went about an eighth of an inch down from the top of the shaker element. Moving on to the inside panel, a strip was cut from the same watercolor wishes paper and attached to the bottom of the inside panel. I also stamped the inside that says you put the shine and sunshine in the center of the inside panel that was attached to the inside of the card and then the shaker element was attached to the outside of the card. Here's a look at the inside and the outside and here's a photograph for a closer look. Thank you so much for watching and remember to comment at kwarnerstudio.com for a chance to win. Bye-bye.